What's up everyone? It's Amanda from Note Tracks, and I'm back today to give you a quick tutorial on how you could start editing your audio files. If you work with audio a lot, I'm sure you've been editing the files to ensure that they're the best they can be and you have everything you want in there. So if you're interested in learning how to do that with Note Tracks, then keep watching. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new project. We're going to select audio as our project type and we're going to give it a name. I am working on a podcast episode today, so I'm going to name it accordingly. Now that that's done, we're greeted by the workspace. And the first thing we're going to have to do to edit an audio file is, of course, add one. You could do so either by clicking these two buttons here or dragging and dropping your file into the workspace. We also have importing options from Dropbox and Google Drive. I'm going to upload directly from my computer today. So as you see, the file has been added to the workspace and we're ready to start editing. The first thing we're going to want to do to edit is ensure we switch over to the editing pane so that we have access to all of those tools. As you can see, we're greeted with a couple of tools in this bar right here. So we have split, copy, paste, delete, fade in, and fade out. There are also a couple of other tools that I will show you after. The first thing I am going to show you how to do, though, is how to split a track. So uh, in order to split a track, you're going to want to navigate using the playback controls at the bottom of the workspace to where you'd like to split the half in. I have my intro. It's five seconds long, um, and I would like to separate it from the rest of the episode just so I could edit it separately and add a fade in and fade out to it. So I'm going to move along to the five second mark, and then I'm going to select the audio and I'm going to press split. As you can see, it's separated from the rest of the track, and we're now ready to add in some little effects to my intro. So what we're going to do is we're going to either click this button, because I do want to add a nice fade in, but you could also do it by right clicking. So I'm going to click Add Fade In, and as you can see, you have a little triangle and a square that you're able to use to adjust the duration of your fade in. I don't want it to be that long. I just kind of want a little one, so I'm going to leave it as that. And you could also right click on this triangle to get some different fade options if you want it to kind of have a different sound. I'm also going to add a fade out to this because I want my intro to fade and then fade out. So I'm just going to click the button here and it kind of does the same thing. So I select linear and as you can see, it adds the same fade out, uh, the same effect to the end of the split file. The next thing I want to do is show you guys how to copy and paste, and I have a specific sound effect that I use in my podcast, so I'm actually going to add that to the workspace right now. Note Tracks has the ability to work on several files at once and to also work remotely with several people, um, so I'm just going to add the file now for my computer. So the sound effect is a really long file, but I only want a little part of it, so I'm going to again split to where I'd like the file split going to move along here. And that's right where the, the meat of the sound effect comes in. So I'm going to press split at nine seconds. And then I'm going to go here. I'm going to navigate over. And that's the, the base of the sound effect that I want. So I'm going to split again so that it's separate. Press split again. And as you see, the file is separated from everything else. And I'm just going to delete the rest of it. So I don't need any of the remainder of this sound effect. It's a really long horn sound. I just need a little. So the rest is going to be deleted. So you can right click and just press delete. Or you could also just select the audio and click the delete button right up here. So as you can see, the sound effect is now isolated. I have deleted the rest of the file that I don't need. But I realized really quickly that the start of this, I don't need it. It's just kind of a little bit of weird staticky silence. So I'm actually going to trim it. To trim, all you have to do is hover around the side of your waveform, and then you can adjust like so. So I'm going to cut out that little part right there, and then my horn effect is good to go. So I'm going to copy and paste this along my waveform because I do have it repeat a few times. So I could right click and just press copy, or you can press the copy button above. And I say something funny at 40 seconds in, so I'm just going to paste around 40 seconds and then I'm able to drag directly to the 40 second mark as well. If you want to be really, really exact, then you can use the playback tools at the bottom. So as you can see, you can kind of make a nice montage of any of your podcast episodes or music, for example, because you are able to edit several at once. Um, collaboration is really, really important for editing. You want to ensure that when you're working with people, you know, you're editing in the same way, things are being communicated properly, and you can do that all with note tracks, which is really, really cool. 
So now that I've kind of shown you the gist of the editing tools, I wanted to mention our microcontrols that we have. So if you see on the left side of the workspace, we have this little section here. And you can edit the microcontrols for every single track. It's just not one track based or, or one project based. It's individual for every file you add, which is really, really nice. For example, let's say I only want to isolate my horn sound effect right now. I could just turn off the podcast and then it won't play by using that toggle right there. Additionally, I could also adjust the volume of an overall track. I can solo the track and I could also mute the track directly. I also changed the tag color of the track too. So if you are working with a lot of audio files and you need them kind of separated in a certain way, this is a great way to do so. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the gist. Um, I would like to show you really quickly how you can export the file. So if you would like to do so, you navigate down to the three uh, dots right here and you just press download mix and it allows you to download the entire file that you've worked on in one nice MP3 or WAV file. So that's how you can edit an audio file with note tracks. Editing, as I've said, is really, really important to ensure that you are releasing the best quality product or piece of art that you can. So if you want to keep doing that, then start using note tracks. You can check out note tracks at our website, which is just notetracks.com. Or you could also just learn a little bit more by watching some of my tutorials on our YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.